It's your boy Doyle and your boy Matt and we're here for this week's edition of Take 5. Let's take a look at what's happened this week in Bulldog Sports. Look at my elbow. Tonight, football is taking on Joplin in a highly anticipated matchup that hasn't happened in over 30 years. Last week, football beat Branson 28-7, and next week they will head into district play. Soccer got a victory on the road in Aurora Thursday, scoring three second-half goals to win 3-1. They'll play Carthage and Joplin next week. Jenna Teeter tied for 12th place at the state golf tournament, making it back-to-back -back seasons making the All-State team. Boys and girls cross-country will compete in districts this Saturday. Tuesday, volleyball took a tough loss to Nixa on their senior night. They will compete next week in districts at Joplin. The debate team had their first tournament in Nevada, and Michael Holloway got sixth place in the tournament. Team of the week goes out to the boys soccer team for a strong second half win against Aurora. Congratulations, boys. Tweet of the week goes to Mr. Jones who tweeted, yo, sub 40, de sub 40 degrees means I get to put Christmas decorations out. Them's the rules. Hashtag Jingle Bells. Just a reminder that Trick or Treat for Canned Goods is October 30th at 5.30 in the Storm Shelter. Prizes for costumes and most cans collected. All the cans collected are donated to Local Helping Hands Ministry and CJ. And it's almost time for fall sports to wrap up and for winter sports to kick off. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of Take 5. This has been Doyle and Matt with CJTV.